Higher fuel prices has really got in the pockets of a lot of different companies and organizations. Uh, the road speeds has really helped us cut down on our fuel. We can get over a lot more acres with less fuel. So at the end, you know, the bottom line, it's, it's cheaper to run because you're getting better fuel economy. I mean, you can go two days basically and you know, you're not always around a farm or here or there to get fuel, but no, that's a big thing for it I, uh, compared to my other one. This, this day and age uh, and the price of things, you just can't be um, complacent uh, in your operation. It's a huge uh, part of the operation. Fuel consumption is great. On a busy day, I'm running 16 hours, and uh, I never have to stop and fuel. I mean, a tank of fuel will last you all day, no problems. And that's some fields. Uh, I may have to drive 15 miles to a field and then uh, spray that back to town and maybe three or four miles the other direction. But um, uh, we don't have any problems with fuel. I mean, I fuel it up every morning before I go out in the field, and you don't have to worry about it. And Driving down the road um, and spraying, I, I would say we probably cover as much ground as probably almost anybody does since we rode it everywhere, but no, the fuel consumption is great. A good run, strong little motor, it seems to have lots of power for what we were doing and good on fuel. We can run a lot of acres. Uh, when I, you know, I sprayed them 600 acres uh, that one day, uh, I think I used probably three quarters of a tank of fuel, and I think efficiency is excellent. Cost per acre is very, uh, very nice. I, uh, I think uh, comparably to a, a pull behind in efficiency, that's where it comes back to. Uh, what you get done in an hour's time is is great compared to like a pull behind. Pull behind, and that uh, makes a big difference. I mean, it's pretty efficient. It can run in uh, third gear and idle back. I mean, it's just like anything else. If you can run in a higher gear, and we've got plenty of power, you just idle it back, and, and uh, you know, you cut your fuel use way back. And that was one thing, you know, when I was getting used to it, and I was running in second gear, and running a little higher RPM, only well, you run third gear and back off the RPM, and it got a lot more efficient as I got used to running it. But it does real, I mean, it does real well. It's only got a hundred gallon tank. I think I can go about two and a half days, so that isn't too bad. And I knew it was getting real good uh, fuel economy just by the, the amount of times I had to fill it. Uh, the time I was checking the fuel economy, I ran it down to an eighth of a tank, and I thought it never was going to get down there. <laughs> so I think we ran somewhat 750 acres and then filled up. So real pleased with that. Uh, better part of what we were doing at that time, uh, it was the better part of a two-day run, which weren't big long days, but they were, they were good days. Uh, the second day was a good long day, but the first one wasn't real long. So uh, I wondered after the first day if I can run all day the next day. I thought I might need fuel. Well, ended up I didn't. So and I was glad because I wanted to be able to check out how many gallons I did put in it. Uh, it's much more fuel efficient than our Patriot was. Um, over spraying the thousand acres we might fill up two times with our old one would be more like four uh, but it's been much more fuel efficient which translates to more profit at the end of the year so. it's amazing how much I get done and how less I have to pull up the fuel pump 